from this fasting and prayer, you'll be turned to a no-go area for the devil. So every unwanted habit will fly off your life. Things will turn in every area of your life. Every mark of the wicked will disappear on their own. Whatever has forced you to stop will be forced to give up this time. Whatever remains in your own thing that is yet to be bad, it must come this time. I mean, there is no frustration, there is no harassment on your life that will escape the prophetic dagger of this month. The work was forced to cease by power and by force. And when a strong man keeps his goods, it will take a stronger man than he that will come upon him and disarm him. And then take from him all the things he has robbed from people. So this month, the strong man will have no choice but give up. Because the prophets are God's stronger men. When he releases them into the affairs of men, the strong man holding them down have no choice but to give up. Somebody's story is changing dramatically here. Thank you, Father. Glory to God in heaven. Hallelujah. Still praying and speaking over your life. Prophetic words are very powerful. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare every close heaven over your life. I prophesy to you right now. This by the decree of the watchers. Let the heavens over you be open now. I speak over every day beginning from today till December 31st. Let no day end without you testifying. Let no day end without you testifying. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for your walk with God. This is for me a priority in the life of every believer. I don't care what else works in your life. If your spiritual life, your prayer life, your walk with God is down, then your life is under a situation that calls for emergency. Therefore, I speak over your spiritual life. In the name of Jesus, fresh fire upon your altar. 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 Fire upon your altar. The grace for prayer and supplication receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for a constructive study of the word receive it in the name of Jesus I have seen the favor of God in ways that I cannot begin to describe I know what the favor of God is and I know what it can do by the privilege of the help of God upon my life and upon this ministry receive favor now Shout a loud amen. Receive favor now. I speak over systems and structures. I compel them to walk in accordance to the will of God over your life. Anyone here who has been, who has been forgotten between today and next Sunday, in the name of Jesus, let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. Let the book of remembrance be open. As responsible citizens, we pray for Nigeria. Anyone plotting evil, anyone plotting war, every conspiracy of dark powers, right now, we command the elements of creation to fight everything that is antichrist. We declare that now the Lord of peace by himself, he will ensure that there is peace always and by all means. In the name of Jesus Christ, Concerning the preparation for the election, I don't belong to any party. I, you see me around with politicians, but I have, I'm a man of God. There's everybody in every party in this ministry. And fatherhood demands that you open your heart for everybody. I don't have any prejudices, no biases whatsoever. But one thing I can tell you is anybody who does not mean well 
in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not succeed. Hallelujah. Anybody across, whether from counselors down till whatever, burying animals, killing children and draining their blood, in the name of Jesus, we invoke the blood of the eternal covenant and we nullify those demonic sacrifices. But as for you, I prophesy upon you, you will not die. You will not be victims of kidnap. You will not be victims of accidents. Every ministry here represented, return back with fresh fire. Return back with fresh grace. In the name of Jesus Christ. And for all our international guests, I prophesy upon you, you return back with answers to your prayers. And in the name of Jesus, God will do mighty things with you. I know I've stretched you, but please listen. Hear me. God helps men, even financially. Stretch your hands towards me. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the help of God, the God of Jeshurun, the one who is able to help men, I pray over your finances. May my God, who is also your God, may he surprise you in a way. In the name of Jesus Christ. very strange mysterious financial doors may they open up for you i say it again very strange mysterious financial doors may they open up for you some of you will meet strangers and the strangers will say god has sent me to help you i declare over your life you will not beg in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ all the sicknesses that fly around this nation whether airborne waterborne realm of the spirit born I cancel it from getting to you in the name of Jesus Christ and for all your loved ones who are not here but connected to you by faith please hear me in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare as God is touching you here may he touch them there my final prayer for you before I make an altar call please let your heart be open all round rest whatever that is to you all round rest all round rest all round rest whether it means rest maritally whether it means rest financially whether it means rest in terms of fruitfulness whether it means rest in whatever must happen in your life to be called rest i call upon my god to give you that rest all round rest and anybody who has vowed to trouble you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power that raised Christ from the dead may God arise and scatter them in the name of Jesus I'm hearing in my spirit that there are many people who are having difficulty meeting their financial obligations in terms of house rent or maybe school fees of children or medical bills this is what i'm hearing in the name of jesus this one is by prophecy i don't care whether you do business or not i'm praying for you one week if i be called of god between now and the next one week may my god surprise you one week from now may my god surprise you i say it again one week from now may my god surprise you the lord hear thee in the day of trouble the god of jacob defend you may he send you help from zion i prophesy to you that in the name of jesus who is the son of the living god no more tears 
in Jesus matchless name we pray while standing everyone pray this prayer of faith after me say with me Lord Jesus I open my heart to you today come into my heart Lord Jesus forgive me my sins wash me with your blood I believe you died for me on the third day you rose again that I might be justified right now I believe I'm forgiven I'm justified I'm saved I'm born again I'm a child of God I am free from the power of sin to serve the living God thank you Lord for saving me amen I prophesy upon you today the blessing of God that is behind the making of man Everyone who is in emptiness today, I declare your processing unto fullness in the name of Jesus. I prophesy mental fertility, divine ideas, world changing, world governing ideas. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I prophesy upon you today acceleration for your life and for your destiny. Every demon of slow motion, spirit of delay, their yokes are broken right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy your preservation for your life and your destiny. Whoever and whatever is looking for you to destroy you, they shall be destroyed. I declare the establishment of your generation. You cannot have useless children. Amen. You cannot have wasted children. Amen. You, have, you cannot have children that are liabilities, Amen. that are burdens. I declare your children will make God proud, Amen. will make you proud, Amen. will make their generation proud. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, I prophesy your fulfillment. Everything that is a cause of sorrow, a cause of frustration, a cause of depression, in your life and around your life, they die right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Grace for upright living. Yes. Grace for the pursuit of God. Grace for the lifestyle of giving and sacrifice. Grace to exist as a blessing. Yes. Grace to connect the blessing yes. of the blessed yes. is released upon you. Amen. Meanwhile, every blessing of God upon our lives that you desire in your life is released upon you now Amen. every testimony you have heard on this altar that is a testimony you desire is released upon you now Amen. you shall fulfill your days Amen. you cannot be cut short before your time Amen. your destiny opens up right now Amen. every curse that has followed you from your father's house that curse is swallowed up right now Amen. generational ancestral witchcraft occultic curse is swallowed up right now Amen. I release the blessing upon your life and I say go forth and return back with your testimonies in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Ghost Amen. lift up your two hands and now be released in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost it's a great week ahead it's a blessed week ahead everyone who see you will acknowledge you that something has changed in your life I call it done in Jesus precious name Shake seven hands and congratulate them for the blessing. Congratulations.